Hey guys, welcome back. Um, £50 from the bank in the background there. But first off, I've been doing a little bit of spending. So, I got offered this last week. And as you can see, it is the famous Kew Gardens 50 pence that we search tirelessly through these for. So, I, I had a bit of a emotional struggle with myself, as in, is this cheating, buying this coin? Because I really would like to, to find one. So, anyway, I decided to buy it. It was there. I mean, it was in real life, so it was from a friend who um, actually had two, a fellow coin collector, and he was selling one, and he wanted £80 for it. So I managed to have a good look at it. Obviously, it's genuine. If you have a look, you can tell, obviously, the... Queen's neck points at the P, the writing's correct, the eyes aren't funny, you know, on the back it's not too pointed, and there aren't they, you know, all the other telltale signs. So, yep, so I did it, I bought it, £80 there and then, so I'm quite happy with it, but I've decided I'm keeping a capsule, it's not going in the Blue Book collection, because the Blue Book collection is just for coins that I find in here. So, I've always got one now. And, um, yeah, so there we go. So I'm going to pull it out of the way so we don't get it, one, confused with anything else, or two, lose it, put it back in the bank. So I said I'd be doing more spending. So what I did was on Sunday night, I was on a Facebook group and I got the opportunity to buy some carded Olympics. So there's weightlifting. Taekwondo, a very nice shiny football, judo, bokia, hockey, athletics, canoeing, wheelchair rugby, sailing, modern pentathlon, archery, boxing and cycling. So as you can see, some of them are still bagged, some of them aren't. They're all still carded and in really good condition. So I need to find a way of preserving these. Sorry, video cut off. Um, because as you can see, some of them are in three bags and that. So all these were £80 or £85 postage altogether. So I thought that was quite a good deal. Um, I'm quite impressed with that. Um, I'd had a little bit of a drink, as you can tell, so I just decided to buy them. So they came today. I'm really happy with those. They'll obviously stay carded. They won't come out into collection or anything like that. So the next bit of news is um, the Royal Mint have decided to re-release the Jemima Polo Duck 2016 coin. So it's only be brand new and circulated or bunk. You can go to the Royal Mail website, Royal Mail website now and you can buy it for £10 in, in the card. They don't ship until March. I'm not quite sure why they've brought it back. I'm not quite sure it's allowed to bring a coin back because it is still going to be stamped 2016, even though it's been minted this year. I presume the packaging is going to say 2018, so you'll be able to tell the difference, you know, if you were you know, collecting them. I don't know what's going to the prices of other puddle ducks, and I can only presume they've done it to um, help people finish the collection, the Beatrix Potter collection, because obviously last year's coins were quite high mintage as well. You know, there were another low mintage like puddle duck, so. Not sure, but if you want a pull look, brand new and circulated, go to the Royal Mint website now, £10. Um, I think it might be £5 delivery. So the last bit of news is, this isn't one, but there are some, you see this is a new £1 coin, 12-sided. If you put the coin like that, see if I get it to focus, as you can see, there's the hologram at the bottom, and this left-hand side is flat, and that side is ridged. 
So people are now finding these coins where this left hand side, which on this coin is flat, I don't have one, um, it is ridged and they're calling them lefties. So it's just one to look out for in your change. Nobody knows if it's a minting error or it's just where the coin dropped, you know, in the press. We don't know how many they are. They do tend to be quite rare. There are other uh, coin hunters like Richie that's been through hundreds and not found many. So I don't know, something to look out for. I've not found one, but I don't really get many pound coins. I obviously ask for my changing 50 pences. So, onto the video, onto the hunt. 150 pound here uh, from the usual bank. They were just got what they got from behind the counter. Didn't come from a sealed bag, as you can see. This one here still has a bit of paper in it, so I don't know whether that changes the weight. I'm not sure. So what we'll do is we'll do a few. Oh, it's a sealed one. We'll do those today, and we'll do those tomorrow in the video. So I'm gonna move those out of the way. And let's see what we get. So, as usual, I've got an off-screen helper that is going to go through the dates. Looking for the 2009, 10, 11, Shield and 16. And looking for the 2008 return. Obviously, low minted one, so let's get these set up. So, what have we got to start with? Shield. Turn it. So I still need. Oh, you got twenty eleven. So first bag, we've got an Olympic, so, and it is Aquatics. Unfortunately, it's not the one with the lines across the face because this would be worth quite a lot of money. But yeah, that's nice. It's a nice find from the first bag. Um, I didn't have, a, you know, the carded ones over here. I haven't got that in the carded ones. So, let's carry on. So, dictionary. Ten years. And two more battalions. So first bag, excellent find is the Olympic. Any Olympic find is good in my opinion. So this is the one with the bit of paper in, and for those of you that mind, so it's an eight pound fifty and went ten. So this is somebody that's obviously been saving up the fifty pences. I left a note in saying how much there was. To the added one pound fifty, and then took it back to my bank. So, whether they're a coin collector or just somebody saving their money, we shall now find out. So, some shields, some Britannias, some Britannias, some shields, Britannia. So, Whoever it was, they decided to hang on to their... Oh, no, I didn't. There's one. Oops. So, it's the EU one. Nice. Keep that one there. So, two bags, three coins. Not bad so far. So, next bag. Number 10 years. Uh, 2016. So, what we're thinking. The Olympic swimmer. Nice. Number 10 years. Shield, it's a bit shiny, yeah. Nope, 2005. 
Przyjąłem pytanie. Mokro. Let us uh, know how you guys have been in the comments and um, how your finds are going, what collections you've got. You know, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. I've got another Isaac Newton today. Um, from the lady in the local Tesco. She went to her till again for me. The next room. Is that one nice over? So I've got about five Newtons from circulation now. All my favourite coin, as I think I've said before. Just sort these out so we can see. What else we got them? So. Yours and Britannia's. What'd you buy this? Four minute mile. A bit of fluff. This one looks different. It's 1997, but it is not an English coin. It is a Jersey coin. Cool. I always hang on to those. One day I'll probably look up, see if any of them are rare, but they're nice to have in the collection. This is the last bag that I said I'd do. This is the seal bag. Let's have a look. Might do one more, just be sneaky. Maybe <laughs> put one there, thank you. 2016, 50 pence. Mace Tiggy Winkle. Oh, nothing there. Alright, so I ended this bag. So this is definitely the last one. That leaves us some for the next video for tomorrow. And so we've got so we've got dictionary, like shield, Britannia, 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 shield. Ten years. Don't them. Not finding anything. No. no. No undated, no dated ones. Britannia, that's it. That's everything. So we got these two, which will be going in the collection in capsules, or this one will probably go in the, uh, I've got like a Jersey and Guernsey page in my book. We put those in there. We got three dictionaries. Roger Bannister, Olympic swimmer, the U and a Tiggy Winkle. So that is one, two, three, three pound fifty for the savings pot. And that is it for this video. So once again, I'm just uh, get this little beauty out. Like I said, I did struggle with whether or not to purchase this, but now I've got one. I'm really pleased, but it's not going in the book. Gonna hang on to this, keep it somewhere safe. And these I'll uh, try and work out how to save those. See, some of these are just in cards, so they obviously need to go in some kind of plastic or something. Um, but I don't want to put them in PVC, even though they are still. So let me get a football one, which is probably really nice. So these, they still got this plastic over them. Which I'm hoping isn't PVC, so they're still look, they're um, six, seven years old and still in good condition. 
Really nice. Cool. Right, well, let us know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like us to do. You know, maybe you want us to do a video of pound coins. We'll go hunt the lefty. Um, seem to be selling for three or four pounds. Nobody knows anything about them. The mint's not said whether they're errors or not yet. Um, that's about it for this video. So, comments, feedback. Please do subscribe and like. And we'll see you in the next one. Ta-ra, guys.